Hello students, your instructor here, John Mandela with another screencast. This one, um, week three digital publishing class, so you have to design a two-page magazine spread. And you must have knockout type, n squares or symbol, um, it should just be square or symbol, not plural. A text wrap, image caption, drop cap, uh, again these should all be singular. Uh, this is kind of a two-page spread, blah, 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 regulating it by 11 pages, but there will be two of them. A spread means that there's a left and right facing page. Um, save it as a PDF file. It's kind of, it's actually exported as a PDF file, but whatever. Um, less about the contents of the spread, heavily on your ability to apply the attributes. Well, there might be some things you're wondering about. If it's an article, it's two pages, you probably also need the article title. You might even need a subtitle, a byline for who wrote it. Um, you might want to have a lead-in paragraph, we'll talk about that. Um, so all these things, make sure you do, save it as, obviously you're going to save it as an InDesign file on your local computer or on the school's computer or whatever, but when you go to submit it, make sure it's a PDF file. And again, I can t help you how to do that, um, either in video or in notes. So, let's get started. So I'm going to go to InDesign here, and it's going to File, New, Document. And um, this we actually will spend some time in. So we want to make it two pages. We want to make sure that they are facing pages. So make sure that is checked on. Page says letter, that's good. Um, orientation is going to be portrait. Uh, number of columns, that's up to you. Let's say we want, I don't know, five column, which sounds like a lot, but trust me, we can make this work. Five column layout, uh, gutter, that's fine. The margins, perhaps we want, uh, actually, we can leave these alone. You might want to play with them if you desire. Um, and then the bleed and slug. Um, we'll leave these alone. It's not that important right now for this document, so we'll leave that alone. And then we're going to hit OK. Oh, if you don't see these, by the way, you might have to click more options to see all this stuff. Anyway, we'll hit OK now. And this will load up. All right, so we've done this. And we can see that we have our five column grid set up. But if you look over here in the pages panel, which should be there anyway, but if you don't have it, just go to window pages and it will show up. And I also have these, these seem really large. I went to the panel menu right here, um, down to panel options, and you can set it to be larger thumbnails. Um, these are my masters, which are, are small, and that's fine. These are my actual pages, which are larger. So you can see now that we have two pages, page one and page two, but they're not a spread. So the way to do that, if you right click on this and go to numbering and section options on the first page, uh, so it says start page numbering at, and then one obviously is what it is by default. We're going to change that to two. Okay. Uh, and we'll leave all the rest of this alone. We'll hit OK. And now you can see we actually have a spread. Okay. So again, the black is the edge of the page, or what's called the trim, and then the purple and pink are the guides and column guides. So you can see now we have a spread here, a left and a right. Um, it's called a verso recto in the industry. Um, why do we have to set it to two pages? Why doesn't it do that automatically? Because in the world of publishing, um, whether it's magazines or newspapers or books or anything like that, um, the odd number pages always go on the right and the even numbered pa pages always go on the left. So that's why we have to give it a even number of two, or it could be any even number technically, um, so that it shows up there. So we've got that. Um, a way to get the page number in there. So let's say you want the page number on the bottom left and bottom right. So take the text box, and I'm just going to make a little number right here. Of course, I can reposition this later. And now I'm going to zoom in on this actually, so it's easier to see what we're doing. So I've got this page number here, and I'm not going to type in the number two because that's not the way you do it. Uh, what you want to do is go to Type Menu, Insert Special Character, Markers, Current Page Number. And if you're using a I'm using CS4 for this tutorial. If you're on CS5, 5.5, or 6, it might be slightly different, but it's going to be something like this. So take a look at the menu and submenus that I'm in. Current page number, or Alt, Control, Shift, N. If you're on a Mac, that would be um, Command, Option, Shift, N. And we'll put it there as a 2. And now, here's a really great part. I'm going to zoom back out. I can just take this hold alt and shift drag over a copy and what I'm going to notice if I zoom in on this one it's a three it knows what page you're on how awesome is that so that's how you can set up your two pages as a spread and then get your page numbers in there 
the right way.